What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Rooster Reacts. I am your boy, Rowdy the Rooster, and today we are reacting to Lorna Shore Pain Remains 3 in the Sea of Fire. And I'll be totally honest with you. When I first reacted to Lorna Shore Pain Remains 1, somehow I didn't anticipate this being a trilogy. Does it even go further than that? I heard it might even actually go further from a comment. I'm not really sure, but we're on a story now, y'all, and I'm invested. So far, it's been pretty sad, pretty tragic. Uh, y'all did let me know to have the lyrics up, kind of let my ears kind of adjust to, you know, the music, the vocals, since they are a little bit hard to understand. But do the lyrics. I'm going to get into this. This is almost 10 minutes long, so I don't want to really waste any more time because this is going to be a long reaction as it is. So please like, comment, subscribe as usual. If not, no harm, no foul. Let's go. Okay, my head. Hopefully, my headphones are charged. That would suck. All right. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah, so he, unfortunately, um, extinguished himself we'll use that word because i think youtube does block certain words and can't say the k word uh or else they will kind of flag it um at his at his wife's funeral so yeah that was very dark and tragic so okay let's keep going kind of eerie background vocals also he's opened up his eyes and i'm seeing a red light to the left uh, is this you know, to take a i don't want to say a supernatural turn but uh, a religious turn or i wonder what's going on <laughs> let's watch it i kind of figured this was going to be mostly a movie because i'm looking at the lyrics here and there aren't a lot of lyrics to the song so i feel like we're getting mostly a Cinematic experience. Shout out to who said uh, uh, to look at the lyrics because I'm watching the lyrics and hearing the words and I can actually kind of pick up on what he's saying a little bit. And I turned away and I could actually catch what he was saying. So, hey, there's something there. So thank you for that. All right, let's keep going.
said it in the previous, I think it was Pain Remains 1. I said it, and I, I'm going to continue to say it like that. The one thing I will say, and this might be a little like, well, duh, that's how music is, but the music really accompanies the video and the lyrics so well. Like, you can feel the intensity, the anger, the rage, whatever you want to call it, of the situation via the music. And the guitar playing is exceptional. But yeah, musically, fantastic. The lyrics, I still have to kind of pick up on his vocals, but we're not a good vocal. First off, I say, just start by saying a wow. lot. Um, this is very tricky to react to, and I, I one thing I've been doing, or one thing I have not been doing, is going back and watching other reactors to songs I've already reacted to. Weirdly, probably should maybe do that just to kind of show them some support. Things I'm not going to react to, I definitely watch their reactions, but. Um, I'm really curious to see how people are reacting to stuff like Lorna Shore because there's so much going on. You know, I'm listening to the music, I'm listening to the lyrics, I'm trying to watch the video, I'm trying to read the lyrics, and there's a lot happening. So I'm still figuring it out. So, so bear with me as I kind of go down this journey of, you know, deathcore metal. Um, but yeah, there's a lot going on in my head right now.
you know, it's not going to be the same, right? I mean, he's burnt, it looks like he's getting ready to burn the house down where he shared so many great memories with his now deceased wife. And how you could even live in that house after that, just all the reminders, that's so tough. stuff, huh? Taking all the memories with him, you know, rather than perishing on the church floor, he's going to go back to the house where all the memories were and take it all. Shore definitely knows how to make a real uplifting uh, song, don't they? I haven't listened to anything besides the Pain Remains trilogy now. Um, I would be curious what else they make because this is great. I love the storytelling, but it's horribly sad. Um, I'd like to see what else they have. Maybe it's something a little bit uh, not quite as depressing, but uh, this has been fantastic. Will there be another one? That feels like a pretty good ending, though. Maybe, that, maybe the idea of there being a fourth is something I read that's just not factual. I'm not sure. But this seems like it was a pretty big ending. You know, he obviously almost died uh, via the knife, didn't, and was able to... I'm not sure if there was symbolism there. I'm not sure if it was like, you know what, like, here's your second chance to do it differently. I'm not really 100% sure. Or if he literally did just survive that and then, like, you know what, I'm going to go back to my home uh, with all the memories and then that's where it'll happen. That I'm not 100% I'm not sure what the symbolism of, but nonetheless, taking the memories with him is all ending here. Uh, that seems to make sense. And oof, that's heavy stuff. Well, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for sticking around. If you stuck around this long, I really do appreciate this. This is a 15 minute reaction now, probably a little more. I'll catch you all on the next one. Be good to yourself. I am rowdy and I cannot find my person. I'm out of y'all. See ya.